Oh my god. <sighs> so hot. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, one sec, let me get right here. Okay. Oh, my battery is about to die. But, anyways, uh, so today it's just me and Itzel. Say hi. I have I only have one twin. How crazy is that? It's not normal for sure. So right now I just have Itzel with me. Um, this doesn't happen too often, but whenever it does happen, uh, we take advantage of it because it helps me and Freddie a lot. So Freddie is here. Well, not here physically here i'm just by myself but he's here so this morning we well today is saturday right and, um we have a lot of things going on so we were we we're gonna have a, like a very pretty busy day so um freddie had to leave earlier to go run his errands and i was cleaning the house so i was like you know what let's do this let's okay so you take a baby i'll keep a baby Go run your errands, but help me with a twin because it, it helps a lot. It really helps me get more done in the house with just one baby. So I was like, oh, hey, you take a baby, I'll take one. So you, no, we do not have favorites. Um, it just happened that Itzel is with me. She's more attached to me and Eileen is more attached to Freddie. So it's kind of easier whenever we have to choose. Eileen wants to go to her dad. I'm okay with that. And Itzel wants to stay with me. So I'm like, okay, so that works, right? So that's what happened this morning. So he took her, he's been out with her for a few hours now and I finally got the house cleaned. Uh, we have some friends coming over tonight. So I was trying to get like the house clean and everything. And so now we're finally at the house and we're on our way to Walmart to go buy um, the ingredients to make a um, shrimp ceviche. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the such an easy way to make a bomb ass meal <laughs> and which let me just say now that this recipe that I'm about to do, it's not mine. It's actually one of my good friends, Daniel. Um, he, a few years ago, he shared this recipe with with me and I forever thank him because whenever I have nothing else to make or, or whatever, um, something easy but um, delicious at the same time, I just go with the shrimp ceviche and it never, never fails. So I'm gonna try to take you guys with me. It looks like my battery is about to die. If I can't record in there, it's fine. I'll just show you guys what are the ingredients once I come back home and yeah. So if y'all wanna learn how to make this bomb ass uh, shrimp ceviche, just please keep on watching. Papi! Wait. All right, so I just got home. So I ended up meeting, well, Freddie ended up meeting me over there at the at Walmart in Melotopia, yeah? And I'm telling you, he just can't live without us. Uh, so we went to Wingstop, right? We, we were eating at the Wingstop. So my dumbass, I don't know what I was thinking, but I gave, I gave um, Itzel, la cuata le di, I gave her the sweet tea. The sweet tea cup it through and la niña se lo echó todo encima todo encima y ahorita llegó dormida pobrecita and yeah <laughs> fun fact don't ever do that to your kid yeah very just got it too. oh my god so i'll show you what i got all right all right Okay, so I have everything here out of what we're gonna use. So let's see here. So for sure, we need the main important ingredient, which is the shrimp. Now I'm making a big quantity, so I'm feeding about how many people? Ten or fifteen. Yeah, I would say ten or fifteen. But obviously, we're not just eating ceviche; we're making something else. So it's just like a. I'm just making kind of almost half. So usually for me and Freddie, oh, what the hell? So usually whenever I buy to make shrimp for me and Freddie, I just buy uh, either one one bag or two bags of that of the cooked shrimp. Um, we use I use cooked shrimp for sure, just because I'm lazy and it's already cooked. <laughs> but so I use this kind of shrimp. I you can get this at Walmart. These are like 
I get the extra small because I'm still gonna chop them off more, so it's gonna become it's gonna be more. So and then we need so that's the shrimp, and then we need tostadas for sure, tostadas al gusto, whichever you like. We also use mayo. I use this kind, and then I'm gonna go into the what we actually need for the for the ceviche, which is tomatoes, onion, like a white onion, a purple onion, some mango, cucumber, uh, what's, here? what's this, oh yeah, cilantro, limones, and avocados. This is for like the, like the top of the uh, tostada. And of course, you're cutting board. So what I'm doing right now, before I start chopping everything off, I have my water heating for the shrimp. Okay, so the shrimp, it's already cooked. So the reason I'm throwing, I'm gonna put them in there is just so we're gonna add, um, se llama? we're gonna add some oregano to the shrimp so it can give it some flavor. So this is the reason why I am um, gonna put the shrimp in there, but I'm not really cooking it. I'm just gonna uh, throw it in there just so it can get some flavor. Like I said, you don't want to leave it here for too long because you don't want them to get cooked, overly cooked. So what I'm going to do, I'll just have it like right now on medium for right now. And what I'm going to add is, which I did forget to mention that you you do need oregano. <laughs> oregano. Do we have oregano? Shut up. You're lying. Oh, just kidding. Found it. So I just said, oh. It's in the mouth. Alright, let's go this one. Because the lighting is way better on this side. So this is the oregano that I'm gonna use to uh, cook the shrimp with. You can use whatever brand I use with this brand. Please don't mistake it with my dumbass one time bought comino instead of oregano they almost look the same <laughs> so be careful be careful on that one so throw that comino in there oregano we're gonna put just about not pinchita so i'm just gonna grab like with my hand like a pinch tanto así oregano is really strong so just be careful with that don't add too much because it could come out really strong you don't want like your shrimp to taste like freaking Menudo. So something like about here, about this much. Okay. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start adding the shrimp. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. All right, so I open my bag. What I'm gonna do right now? I'm just gonna wash it. Just See how it looks like it wants to start boiling? That is no bueno. <laughs> so we're gonna lower it down just a little. Maybe to around part. And now I'm gonna bring my shrimp. And then I'm gonna pour. This is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, please use both hands. Both of your hands. Oh my god. this here. So we're gonna just let it sit there for a few minutes, not too long. Like I said, we don't want it cooking because the shrimp is already cooked. So we're gonna leave it like approximately, we'll say like five minutes on low, okay? And then we'll come back once uh, the time is up. Okay, so, so the shrimp is done. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drain the shrimp. So here comes the fun part. Now it's chopping time. So if you have anybody at home that can help you on this part, please get them to help you. It could be anybody, even your babies, anybody. So right now I have Freddie here helping me chop. 
the more people help you chop, the faster it is. I've done this by the whole chopping by myself, and it takes about an hour or so with one per like for with for one person chopping. So whenever he helps me, it's like 30 minutes the whole chopping stuff, or even like the whole preparation or less. So the more people there is to help to help you chop, the better. Oh you. Oh you entre más más manos más rápido. Yeah. So anyways, so for using it, start with the tomatoes. Vamos a usar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco para empezar. Y ya de ahí vamos a ver cómo nos va. Ya vemos ahí a ver cómo se desarrollan todos los ingredientes. Y ya les vamos a ir para allá. Perla, si estás mirando, te dije que hablar más español. Que ahí está. Que veas, yo sé cómo cumplo mis promesas. Anyways, so while he's chopping the tomato, I'm gonna chop the onion. Um, like I did mention, we're, we are doing per. Para mucha gente, no mucha, pero para un poquito de gente, un poquito de gente. Sí, si sí, nomás como usualmente nomás es como a mí para ella, usamos más una libra, que viene siendo como medio kilo de camarón. Medio kilo de camarón, como dos, dos o tres uh, tomates, como media cebolla, una cebolla, ¿no? Media cebolla. Um, o como menos para nosotros. Sí, como un beso. Y un pepino, y un mango. Pero como, usted, ahí, ahí, como dicen por ahí, le va a estar el agua a los camotes. Dependiendo como quieras, si quieres que tengan mucho, mucho camarón, entonces pues haces más camarones y si no, pues ahí le desfaces con verdura. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok, so... Dice que sí, entonces... Ramsey, mande. 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 This much of tomato and onion going on right now. Well, mama. And now we're gonna chop chop two cucumbers right now. Okay, got it. So he's gonna chop he's gonna chop two cucumbers while I do the other uh, onion. I'm gonna now do a red onion. Con ganas. Um, I'm gonna chop it off, but I'm not gonna put it in here just no. because there's people that don't like cilantro, so I'll just put it on the side. So the cilantro. Ten, 
All right, so now comes the fun part. All right, so now we're gonna start chopping the shrimp. So with the shrimp, since these are extra small, what I'm gonna do to try to make as much as I can out of off, off of them, I'm gonna chop as in, as tiny as I can. So there's no right order on how, on what things to chop or what goes first or you know it just it doesn't matter. At the end, everything's gonna get mixed together. But my waist changes all the time. Right, so let's get started with this shrimp stuff. As I can see, I was Freddie had to leave me because he had to go watch the twins. They were getting fussy, so he's doing daddy duties right now. Well, um, chopping. From the shrimp side. To the side, and I'm gonna show you guys. So right now, this is what I have. So I have not mixed anything just yet. This is how I have it. Let me show you. So this is how I have it right now. Right, I have not mixed it. So we're gonna mix it. Everything in. Oh, you can also you can also add um, jalapeno, like not jalapeno, um, el chile, verde, jalapeno, in there. But I don't want it spicy because a lot of people do add like salsa valentina or add um, anything, you know. So I'm gonna stay away from the chili. <laughs> so right now we're just gonna mix, mix, and shake. Okay, so now since all it's all mixed. A ingredient that I said earlier this recipe is from one of my good friends Daniel um, but one of the things that I've been doing differently of the way he showed me is adding this and I'm gonna show you what it is so Daniel if you're watching this I'm not trying to change your recipe I'm just un toque mio. <laughs> oh so you have two options on the salt we have to add salt, which I didn't mention earlier. But when you're, you're cooking the shrimp and the oregano, you can add uh, salt al gusto. I usually start with something like this. Oh, ya la tiré. So we're gonna add it, salt, 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 salt. And we're gonna mix. So now what I'm gonna add is this bad boy. <laughs> it's lemon pepper, I pretty much add lemon pepper to everything so i want to add that on the lemon pepper i don't mesh pero yo si le echo muchito yo si le echo muchito porque i feel like it does give it such a bomb ass flavor i keep on adding until i think it's it's done it's good now i think the cilantro makes a difference. So if you don't like cilantro, I'm sorry, but you're missing out. So the ceviche is done. It's gonna happen that I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then, which is an hour before um, before our friends start getting here. So by the time it should be already done. But I don't wanna show how I prepare my tostada. All right, so you're gonna grab your tostada. Oh my god, I have a mess here. Can you see? I'm gonna grab your preferred mayo. I use real mayo. Freddy likes McCormick. It doesn't really matter. I think real mayo is bomb. So we're gonna add it on the tostada right here. Hmm. That's there. And then we're gonna add our shrimp. This is cute. Excuse Freddy, he's singing. Cilantro. Oh, mucho. And then I'm gonna add some tapatio. And we're gonna add this. Did you hear thunder? 
We needed that rain. Okay. So, oh. mm, bomb. Oh my god. Bomb. Bomb. Babe! Yo. You wanna try it? Yeah. Come here. Well, I'll come out. Alright, so, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if y'all want to give it a try, go ahead and you will not know se va la Shout out to Daniel once again. Thank you so much, Daniel, for your recipe. Um, it's really safe. A lot of times, I don't know what to cook, which is a lot of times. <laughs> so thank you so much. And if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, please let me know and I would love to keep on filming these kind of videos, okay? So thank you once again for watching and we will see you on our next video.